Go ahead, fellas. The music of the Caribbean. It really takes me back. I don't know why. Late at night, the dogs of the Caribbean bark to the sky like morons. <laughs> praying to the god of assholes to relieve them of the little tiny round worm. Here we go. He grow inside me poop shoot and he wiggle all around. He make it itch me brown eye, so me scrape it on the ground. Well, it's no treat whenever I eat. Me still hungry when other dogs through. Thanks to the parasite that lives in my seat, I gobble their poop because I'm eating for two. Little round worm, tiny round worm, must you live in the ass of a hound worm? Crawl up a human, get out of here. I'm sure you'll be welcome in Richard Gear. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, that pile of shit seems so harmless. But it fucked me in the end. Uh, now, when the girlfriend eat me out, she lick a me tiny friend. Uh, Oh, even the flies are laughing. It weighs heavily on my soul. Me gonna wipe you on the nose of the next bitch who sniff a me whole. Oh, 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 little round worm, tiny round worm. Must you live in the ass of a hound worm? Please crawl up a human, get out of here. I'm sure you'll be what the hell is going on? Uh, what? Uh, What's up? Uh, oh. Uh, oh, hello. Oh. Uh, oh, ladies and gentlemen, it's the roundworm up my ass. Hello, everybody. Give it up. How are you? Thank you, thank you. He made a great effort to come here. Oh, Triam. Yes? I have something to say to you. You do? Yes, but I have to say it in song. Oh, in song? How lovely. Thank you. All right. Here it goes. <clears throat> Why would I leave your hole, sir? Yes? It's so steamy and warm in the hair. You don't say. I've done a lot of decorating. Really? Including a wing back chair. Oh, I love those. I hope I'm worth the puking. Oh, please. Oh, well, it's no picnic. Because <laughs> every time you poop me out, yes. I long to be back up you. Oh, how sweet of you. Around. Everybody, come on. Thanks a lot. That was sweet. Thank you. Well, I've got something to say to you, roundworm. You, you do? Yes. Oh, what is Little it? Little roundworm. Tiny roundworm. Stay a while in the ass of this houndworm. Just find another shoot when you've time to choose. I'm sure I'd find good company in the crap cave of Tom Cruise. Oh. 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 How could you say that about Tom Cruise? It was, so, nice. it was so tasteful up to that point. I've really blown it. All right, well, good luck. Anything going on, Roundworm? Well, I'm working on a cool album with an independent label at the moment. There you so. go, ladies and gentlemen. The little Roundworm up my bottle. The MTV Awards. That was a fucked up night. Before Eminem screwed with me, uh, that Kurt Loder did on the awards show, the, the pre-show, that ancient old fuck. <laughs> Is he here backstage? Yeah. Is Kurt Loder back there? Yeah. Bring him on, Kurt Loder and his new peach. Is he in Robinson? Hi. Yes, Ian Robertson, yes. 
You're Get sweeping your the nation, shot. Ian Robertson. <laughs> I don't know, they, they told me the kids knew this guy. Do you know who this guy is? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay, well, then I really have given you your $12 worth. I can relax. But let's talk to Kurt first. Oh, Kurt yes. is a legend in the industry. By legend, of course, I mean old. Oh. I've heard that before. I heard, uh, folks, I saw Kurt dressing in the, changing in the dressing room earlier. I hate to say it, but uh, folks, his nutsack hangs lower than Rin Tin Tins. <laughs> it's always good to have teenagers get their music news from a guy who's holding up almost as well as Keith Richards. <laughs> So who's this other guy? Are you from MTV or no, MTV2? This is uh, Ian Robinson, Triumph. Uh, I'm, from, I'm from both, mainly from MTV2, though. All right, well, shed a few, shed a few pounds and maybe you'll be on MTV. Oh. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Try, uh, try moving on to the water dish once in a while, buddy. <laughs> you know, cycle three. <laughs> Don't make me get Eminem on your ass now. Oh yeah, I'm scared of him. <laughs> He's five I'll foot. eat you. I know He's the five foot eight. <laughs> Wait, did you say you'll eat me? Yeah, I'll eat you. I, you're part Asian? I I said that. <laughs> Come on, he set me up. <laughs> what, happened with the, what happened with the Eminem thing? Why didn't you uh, pursue that? Why didn't, you why didn't I what? Why didn't you kick his butt? Uh, come on, I'm made of rubber. Even I can't beat up Eminem. <laughs> Eminem, Kurt. It, Kurt, that would be like you trying to beat up Eminem. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you can do it. What are you trying to say? I'm trying to say that even a rubber puppet could take you. <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> what, is that a challenge? Was that, was that well, grown a challenge or was it indigestion? <laughs> you are a fucking hand puppet. I mean, how did it all do it? Okay, let it out, Kurt. <laughs> let out all the anger of having to work with the Tabitha Soren all of this. <laughs> I don't blame you. <laughs> hey, could you deal with this? Uh, what would you like me to do? Tell me what you want me to do. Uh, I don't know. Can you want me to slap him? him? Throw him, slap him around? No, no, no. It's all right. What? You, oh, see. Hey. Oh, you've got Be nice. Me. Your grip is stronger than M&M's. That's good. <laughs> so what? The, you're you're hot right now, yeah? You're you're. I don't you know, know you're like, all these VJs. You you know they're like Jesse Camp. You know, one year they're the thing, and then the next. Jesse Camp is turning tricks by the Lincoln Tunnel right now. I've already done that, so I'm over that part of it. I'm sorry, Kurt? I've already... Oh, no, that's Kurt. Uh, Look, you VC and Z so good, can you? I can see perfectly. Uh -huh. And you do need to lose weight. So you're... Listen, you're cool, man. You Your know. 15 minutes are just about up, dude. So. I know. No, yours, baby. Your VJ's career, they're like my poop. They're hot for about five minutes. <laughs> Look, I want you to have your money's worth. I want you to feel totally degraded after this show. I want you to feel like you have to take a week-long shower when you go home. Except for uh, this guy over here, this fat guy in the front. Yeah. Sorry, sir, but I'd like, I'd like you to take a shower right now. <laughs> Sorry, what can I say? Sharp sense of smell. <laughs> Can't help it. Heightened receptors and all. <laughs> Gets me into trouble, yes. <laughs> like this other guy in the front row. Get a, get a shot of him, please. Yes, you, sir. <laughs> now, he's a cool guy. You seem to have it going on. Yes, you, uh, you have a job, yes. The only thing that I could pick up on was uh, that I think you may want to buy a new condom. <laughs> The one in your wallet is a little stale. <laughs> Sorry. Sharp sense of smell. It's my sense of smell. Come on, Jimmy. It's my sense of smell. I can always tell. My very sharp sense of smell. Now look at this pretty girl here. Look at this lovely girl in the front row. Get the shot of her. Oh, how lovely. Look at that smile. She's so sweet. Who would ever know that she's menstruating? <laughs> it's okay. She changed her Tampax last night. It's totally fine. You didn't? 
It's my sense of smell. Can always tell. Look at this guy right here. Right there, I'm smelling something very interesting. Could you exhale? Just give me an exhale one time. Yes, yes, I smell it on your breath. I smell penis. <laughs> Don't worry about it, my friend. We all poop on both sides of the street now and then. <laughs> it's my sense of smell, okay. I can always tell by my sharp sense of smell, okay. I'll leave you people alone. Let's bring on our next guest. From The Sopranos, the man himself, Big Pussy. Bring him up, Lenny Pastor. <laughs> Jimmy, I'm working with a fucking dog now. Well, at least he didn't call me a puppet. A what? A and puppy? Uh, a no, puppy? No. Uh, whatever you say, man. Whatever you say. <laughs> Over you. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> you're you're upstaged me on Hollywood Squares. What are you going to do tonight? I, look, look, I'm happy to have you. You're upstaged me at the roast. What look, are you going to do tonight? I'm, I'm trying to do it. Yeah, you're going to interview me? I'm going to interview right. you. I'm going to interview you. All right, try. Listen, I like it. I like it. Look, you I like, like me? I like you, I like having you next to me, you know? Right, for once, right. no one will blame me for farting. There's a butcher's shop. There's a, there's a butcher's shop in Jersey. We can make you a hot dog real fast. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at this guy. He's right. threatening me, threatening That's right. me. Okay, Don't... let me see. Too me late, no one. I... Do your interview. Doctor already jumped in Do your in fucking shop. interview and get it over with. Look, what, am I, what, am I going to be afraid of you? The hey, 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 Look, come the, on. What, the mob? I don't give a shit if you're the insult dog. I don't give a fuck who you are. Start I hear you, I here. understand. You got me waiting backstage for half an hour. Start your fucking game here. I'm trying, you're baby. You fucking asshole dog. I do, that's You'll the probably be part. on The Sopranos next season. How do you keep the weight on without the job? That's my question. <laughs> What are you gonna do? Look, look, it's all right, all right man. You You'll have things to do. Someone's got to fight Tanya Harding. <laughs> what, what? You don't like that pussy, what? What? You Fuck you, you fucking you. What, the mob's gonna whack me? Is that what's going to happen? Big deal, well, I can... Maybe, you know, listen, maybe. Listen, I'll put I you don't... to sleep. Look, look. Real what, fast, I'll put great, you to great. sleep. Look, the mob's gonna whack me. You great, can I can already... Pictures. Fuck you, you stupid dog. <laughs> I like your material, man. You like my material? You say it enough times, maybe it'll get fun. Fuck you, that's all I gotta say. They laugh. Fuck you, they laugh. Fuck you, you stupid fucking dog. All right, all right, he's got me. He's got me. There's no way you can argue with that. Fuck you, you stupid dog. It's exactly. a put that's down it. that's worked for years. That's right. Probably get your own show, you stupid fucking dog. Yeah, stupid fucking dog. <laughs> No, this is fun. No, no, look. Okay, can we can we finish this? No, we can, I, th I thought you were going to interview me. Is this I an know, interview? Look, look, I thought I wasn't afraid of you when we started. I mean, I figured, what, the mob's going to whack me? Big deal, I can already put my dick in my mouth. <laughs> yeah, go lick your balls. Uh, I'm That's getting, not funny. I'm getting to that. All right, come on. All right, all right, listen, listen. Uh, we, Don't I just want to know how... What, don't you want to ask me how I'm doing since last time I saw you? How are you doing since last time I saw you? Not too good. I'm over here in Irvin Plaza. I could be doing Roseland tonight. All right. All right. I, I, yeah, I bet. Any other setups you need? <laughs> <laughs> because that one was really, it really paid off. <laughs> Why didn't I get the script for this? It's gone. <laughs> he pooped on me. All right, okay. okay. It's been a Ladies pleasure. and gentlemen, play him off, Jimmy. I beg of you. Okay, thank you very much. Vincent Pastore, big Wow. Wow. <laughs>
those of you who think uh, that the show has been a little uh, <laughs> randy up to now, a little dirty, a little filthy, I, I just want to apologize because it's uh, about to get worse. <laughs> You know, dogs aren't clever, they eat their own dung, they whine like babies and sweat through their tongue. The big ones are stupid, the small are high, strong, but cats are cunts. All right, what are you going to do about it? I was listening backstage. I like the melody. <laughs> I wrote some lyrics that I think speaks to the intelligence and humanity of this crowd tonight. <laughs> Good luck. In peace, very nice. We wouldn't have famine, war, or disease. <laughs> Brothers and sisters should do as they please. But cats are cunts. Do you think they call it pussy? <laughs> Why don't we bring out uh, another uh, one of the one of the hottest B-level 
celebrities going right now, huh? This guy, this guy, he swept the nation. And now he's in the shitter. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Ben Curtis, better known as the fucking Dell guy. Dude, I'm not gonna fucking say it. Wow, they hate you already. <laughs> Unbelievable. I think so. That's a new record. Yes. We've had a record for calls asking where the hell is this guy though, too. <laughs> you know, you can leave. Okay, back to me doing the material. <laughs> Just stand there and take it like a bitch. I'm ready, baby. Okay, baby. Let's do it. Okay, so are you still the Dell guy or are you done? I'm still the fucking Dell guy. Oh, yeah. Okay, and you're fucking drunk, too, I can tell you. <laughs> you didn't serve so many beers back. Then. It's okay. Nice Dude, cigar. Uh, look, it doesn't matter look, if you get fired. we both got a cigar. Can we just all get along, please? What? Oh, boy. Oh, fuck oh boy. <laughs> Do I smell a train wreck? <laughs> it's my sense of smell. <laughs> Listen! I think, was, I think it was your nuts, so let's get off mine, huh? Okay. Oh. Hey, look, don't worry about it. Hey, it's all right. It's all right. I you still know. love you. I still have uh, somewhat of a nutsack. It's no all problem. Right. <laughs> I had testicle put. reconstruction. Listen. Thank God. Let me get through these fucking jokes and send you home. I'm waiting. Here we go. All right. Now, look, okay, so don't worry about being... Uh, you know, if they fire you selling computers for Dell, it's okay. Just they, give it a month. They still need Keep cashiers at CompUSA. Absolutely. Who are we Absolutely. kidding? Your career is done. Too bad you missed my Broadway show, I guess, yeah. Uh, you keep dreaming. Right. Listen, here's the reality. The next time you drops your fucking cigar. I know. Let For the it, fifth time. There's okay. like six of them on the floor. I know, I know. Look, I've okay. got people to scoop that up, okay? Soon All you'll right. be one of them. <laughs> your career is finished, my friend. I knew what? your career was in trouble. I was chasing a bus the other day and you were driving it. Well, I'm glad you brought me here then, you know? Who are we kidding? The next time we see you on camera, you'll be robbing a 7-Eleven. With a fucking puppet as a dog. Oh, poor man. Yeah, that poor was man. slow. I'm hey, sorry. Yeah. So do you, do, do, are you, a, do you own a Dell? Of course. Do you have Windows or what? Yeah, Windows uh, 98. Uh, you have eight? Windows, good. Well, do us a favor and jump out of one. All right. next for the Dell guy? Movies, a sitcom, or a gay porn? Well, the Dell guy... The Dell guy is, um... voluntarily quit auditioning for films and has decided to finish his education, graduating from NYU this year. Very admirable. Very admirable. Perhaps moving on to Broadway, perhaps I like films, it. you know, the offers get a little oh, bit overwhelming. Please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're done. Yeah, fuck you. Let's face right. it. The guy called Lizard has more heat than Do you. you sell out tonight? There's an empty seat. Your career was shorter than a Pekingese hard on. Okay, I'm done. Yeah, two years is a really short time, isn't it? Uh, well, okay. It was, I think it was, uh, you're measuring it in dog years, I think. Oh, right, 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 right. Have a seat, that guy. Seriously. Have a seat, enjoy. And please, someone shut his microphone. No, sit down, sit down. I am, man. I'm going to show you how you spread, how you diversify, okay? Please do, I want to see you fuck Adele. Please sit down. All right. Sit down, take his mic away. I'm going to sing. Okay. Sit down, there's a chair. Where? Right there, holy shit. It's like Anna Nicole Smith with anorexia. Right there! I'm not going anywhere. All right, okay, well, Del, you've got a little competition then, okay? All right. Our next guest, ladies and gentlemen, if you don't get psyched for this, you suck! <laughs> From the subway ad, that's right! Bring him on, Jared!
I thought you were bringing competition. You brought a sandwich. As long as I'm not from Gateway, Jesus Christ. Here you go, Triumph. I brought you a sandwich. It's not a foot long. I didn't think you could handle a foot long. Do you long. own a Dell? Wow. I actually do. Oh, okay. I own a Dell. You can so stay on stage then, right? I do. I can oh. stay here. I can oh, wow. Against. All right, we're good. <laughs> this is great. We just keep the line right here. All right. <laughs> Maybe we should use the subway as a line. There you go. It's good, we can do that. All right, maybe. All right, uh, yeah. No, no, let's enjoy this. <laughs> I haven't seen this kind of banter since I uh, ate a burrito. I haven't heard this kind of banter. <laughs> What's all right? I mean, you know, Subway is now the number one. They just surpassed McDonald's. Thank you very much. Thank what? You. Bullshit. Bullshit. You're playing with the numbers. Oh, no, we're not. <laughs> okay, Jared, can I ask you a couple of questions? Of course, always. Jared, I don't get it. You really lost weight by eating Subway sandwiches? I mean, I've eaten my own shit for years. How come I can't lose weight? You gotta give it a try, I'll tell you. It was a six inch for lunch and a foot long for dinner and... What, is that the Richard Simmons you know. diet? That's what that sounds like. <laughs> Oh my God. You had that one coming. That was good. Honestly, man. But I, did, but I didn't do double meat. <laughs> oh, Jared. They love you. Oh, okay, okay, honestly. Okay, the name Subway. Where does that come from? Is it uh, from submarines or is it because the Subway reminds you of the smell of piss? <laughs> I got more, I got more. What's the secret, Jared? <laughs> Do you puke yourself? No, I, it's I okay. Do That's that. the natural reaction to eating a Subway sandwich. When's the last time you've had a Subway sandwich? Uh, in my mouth or up my ass? <laughs> Either. Oh. I can't help it. I can't help it. I'm a KFC guy. Oh God. You better watch yourself. I just have a problem taking, eating pre-sliced meat that's uh, prepared by a swarthy man with a glove. <laughs> now, Jared, okay, the Dell guy has a talent. Now, Jared also has a talent. Jared's talent is walking to music. <laughs> Go ahead, Jimmy, hit it. Show, demonstrate it. Back and forth on the stage. There he goes, look at that. Keep walking, keep walking, you're not done. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. His name is Jared. He used to be fat. He eats subways and still alive. Imagine that. He was a really big fat guy. Keep walking. Now he's almost thin by eating byproduct turkey. Take out and in. Okay, we've got a big surprise. Jared, you've got more walking to do in your pants. Where are your pants? Where are the pants? Bring them out. Really wing it, Jared. Wing it. They're animals, Jared. They eat anything. Very well paid. Oh, yes. Here we go. Are there any Phantom Menace nerds in the house? Some idiots keep saying triumph. <laughs> well, I have some news for you. There is a Phantom Menace nerd in the house. The ultimate nerd. Play him on, fellas. It's unbelievable that he's here. 
the one and only Nerd of the Rings himself. himself. <laughs> oh, honestly. <laughs> Keep singing. Cause I'm Black Wolf, yay! The Dragon Master Black Wolf. That most almighty sage Black Wolf. So many beasts have I slain. I'm 4,000 years old. And he's never been laid. Oh, now, just a moment, Triumph. I'm not all that naughty. Next verse, please. Oh, I can school you with the ancient craft of the mage at the Renaissance Fair. Yes, he can make his dick grow with just one hand. <laughs> oh boy, cause I'm Black Wolf, yes, the Dragon Master Black Wolf, the lowest hero of the low, get to me, Black Wolf, whose safe opinions know. Yes, his parents gave up on him years ago. Well, okay, maybe father, but never, dear Mumsy. Cuckoo! I serve the High King on Reed. Yes. Since he got fired from the DMV, I shall do you with the utmost of love. Just don't be too loud or you'll wake up his mom. <laughs> Push your head, doggy. Oh! Go ahead. I proudly don me wizard's frock. He cleans up after himself with a sock. I seize me trusty stuff from the vanquished black knight. Yes, it was purchased online at a dildo site. Oh, shut up, fresh hound, cause I'm Black Wolf. Black Wolf! The dragon monster, Black Wolf. Black Wolf. Heir to the Archmage's throne. To none save myself, I'll be Master Blood's Yes, here's a spoiler, you will die alone. Newsflash, fresh hound, I'm immortal, remember? Cuckoo. I'm a proud descendant of the noblest of clans. Yes, he paid for that beard by collecting cans. <laughs> Are those pigs here short sporting that I see my smell is working? His home life's been awkward since mom caught him jerking. I've made to the presence of beloved King Arthur. The action figure of his ass can't go any farther. I dance with the sinners as the stars shine above me. Yes, then he spews on a photo of David Duchovny. I can take the finest peaches and turn them orange. <laughs> well? Orange? Yeah. <laughs> Checkmate. Ooh. You masturbate and can't get the date. You'll never copulate. Except for dogs you inflate and then penetrate. Yes, I'd estimate you'll be celibate till Ali McBeal gains weight. And then there's a Palestinian state. Yes, you're a candidate for me to defecate on. I got one more. A clitoris you can't locate. <laughs> A one, two, three, cause he's Black Wolf. Oh, the Dragon Master. Black Wolf. That's exactly who I am, yes, I'm Black Wolf. The noble man. He slays the beast. Hmm. Then I slam the ham. Black Wolf. Oh, Unbelievable. Oh, what a night. Seriously, it's a great night. Very exciting. I mean, we've got the Mr. Show. 20, uh, I don't know how many talented kids there were who no one wants to hire. <laughs> and, uh, you know, and then we also, on top of that, we've got kids in the whole reunion. <laughs> who gives a shit? Come on. These guys have more reunions than the Brady Bunch. I kid, I kid, I kid. It's great that they're back together. I'm sure we're going to be seeing a lot more of the group in the future, too. Yes, as long as Dave Foley's career stays in the shitter.
I kid! No, they're talented kids. Are you kidding? Mark McKinney, this is one of the most talented performers in the fucking world. I'm not kidding. Yeah. Give it up! Mark McKinney. This is the funniest guy ever to bomb on Saturday Night Live. A huge talent. He came up with the great chicken lady character, yes? That's right, the chicken lady. And since then, it's been a real gold mine for him. Yes, the chicken lady, yes. He'll do your kid's birthday party for fish sticks and a ride home. And Scott Thompson. Where do I begin? Seriously, what can you say? What, what degrading thing can you possibly say about Scott Thompson that he hasn't already paid someone to say to him in a truck stop bathroom? <laughs> Look, it's, it's a great night. These acts are great. The auction items, how about those, huh? You can bid on great items like a Mr. Show or Kids in the Hall tour jacket. Yes, a tour jacket. How long has it been since tour jackets were a fashion must? Yes, folks, wear a tour jacket. Yes, that's the thing. When you walk into places, it gives you that certain edge that lets people know you're a gaffer. You know what? I just realized I haven't even mentioned Janine Garofalo. Oh boy. I'm going to spread. <laughs> Seriously, what a sour boos. What an attitude on this woman. She's more sour than a lemon in B. Arthur's twat. I kid, I kid. Listen, Janine. She had a real movie career, you know? It was going well, the Uma Thurman crap, and that's, we liked it. And then it's like, oh, the studio wants me to lose weight. Oh, oh, oh. Come on out here, Janine, are you back there? Come on out here. Take it, baby. Come on, Janine. Why can't you lighten up a little bit? You know, why not relax with the act? Everybody who works out is stupid. Look, I, I don't mind the weight, but what's wrong with fake tits? You know what I'm saying? Come on, shake it, baby! I bought my girlfriend six fake tits. The bottom two I could live with. Come on! You're very good in cats and dogs. You have real range. You want to say something? I, I, I don't know whether I'm supposed to or I'm just supposed to be a... Take it like a man! I, I think I'm just supposed to stand here and take it or am I supposed to respond to each, each, each criticism as it flows? Uh, you know what? Uh, we're spreading. Shut the fuck up. Okay. <laughs> Where was I? Yes, you have real acting range. Yeah, right, I've got more range with my piss stream. Okay, just a few more, Janine. <laughs> Come on! Loosen up! Melt, bitch, melt! Whatever it is you have up your ass, could you please pull it out and give it to Scott Thompson? <laughs> Scott is a, he's backstage waiting. Please. All right, that's good. Janine Garofalo, ladies and gentlemen. God bless you. Oh, you know, every single one of these people is a major talent who's been fucked by HBO at some point or other. But it's a good thing. It's good, you know. I don't blame HBO. More room for Arliss. Yes. Yes. Let's cancel Mr. Show and make room for fucking Arliss. Let's be, let's be bizarro, HBO. <laughs> now I'm pleased to announce that Arliss was canceled recently. <laughs> but in a way, you know, it was good to have Arliss on HBO, you know? 
through that mark of quality programming, it was nice to have that one oasis of total shit. for my comedy. I don't apologize for it. It harks back to a time of innocence. When blue comics all over the world recorded albums like these. Comics like Red Fox, you know, who, who just gave it up for the audience. You know what I'm saying? And here's one of the true legends. The ancient, the overweight, the legendary Mr. Blue Comic himself. Stinky Fay! Stinky oh, Fay! How you doing today there, Triumph? Uh, thank you very much, thank you very much. How do you like the show so far, Stinky? How well, it's a fun, always awesome to come and see the show. It's always fun. <laughs> but... The kind of thing I like to see yes. is more that stuff like Mother Teresa getting a potato up a cunt. <laughs> I was getting to it. I was getting to that. <laughs> I mean, that's the kind of thing we used to do back in the day. Back in the day. When yes. she was a teenage girl. <laughs> yes. That little bitch. Yes. She was hot. Oh, really hot. She didn't wear all that shit on top of her head. <laughs> that blanket, she just wore a little, little thing on the back. Everything's really nice. not as good as it used to be. Oh, my God. Especially the comedy nowadays, yes? Oh, tell me about it. These punks with the these, observational oh, shit. These them. young punks, they go on a bus, they see something, they go, Oh, I'm gonna talk about it on stage. Oh, fucking bullshit. <laughs> You ever notice this and that? Oh, look at me, I have eyes, I can see things. Yeah. Fuck them. Fuck you assholes, we got eyes too. <laughs> Show offs with the eyes. <laughs> These young punks, I hate that one, the, the kid, what's his name? The, oh, uh, that fucker, that the, George, the George Carlin. Yes. That fucker. That kid, and then that other punk, I, he's, oh, I've got a crust what, around my butt older what, than that, this what one. What, the suede, the shoes? What's it, Robert Klein? Robert Klein, that was. <laughs> These fucking kids. And that David Brenner. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, you have a lot of this. Fuck him. Fuck you, asshole. Oh, yes, those punks, the Bob Newhart. <laughs> Young scrap. They got... see something and they go, oh. I'm gonna tell you what I saw. Fuck that bullshit! <laughs> you said that already, but it's true. <laughs> what are we going to do? We got something prepared, folks, to let you know just how we feel about the comedy. Yes? Yes. A, a special new song with lyrics by the late uh, Sammy Khan. 
who came out of death to write them for us. Very nice, what a gentleman. Here we go. Notice yes. the way you lose a sock. You ever notice that blinking VCR clock? You ever notice the crappy food on a plane? You ever notice how cabbies have funny names? You notice yes. there's so many Starbucks? The new kind of comedy sucks. You have, have to work blue, blue. That's what, what you, you do. Throw in a shit or a piss or a poo and work blue, blue. All the pros do. Back in the old days, everyone knew. Hey, doctor. Yeah. Every time I drink coffee, my eye hurts. Well, stop sucking your father's cock. <laughs> you have to work blue, blue. That's what you do. These people didn't pay to see God. God, God, God go. You ever but notice yes. all these cops they eat donuts? Wow. You ever notice McDonald's pies are hot? You ever notice? Oh, there was two Darrens. Ah, oh, fuck off. You ever notice how every trailer begins in a, a world? world. <laughs> 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 oh, fucking assholes! You, you ever, ever notice? Whatever happened to wit? Enough, Enough of this faggoty shit. You gotta work blue, blue. That's what you do. Serve him up a big bowl of fuckety stew and work blue, blue. All the pros do. Back in the old days, everyone knew. Tell it to me straight, doctor. Triumph. You got three months to live. <gasps> I want a second opinion and a rod up my ass so I can jerk off while you suck your father's cock. <laughs> you have to work blue, blue. That's what you do. It's absolutely, positively, shittingly true. <laughs> Waiter. Uh, yes, mother. <laughs> What's this fly doing in my soup? Monsieur, let me take a look-see. <laughs> Looks like that fly there is doing the backstroke. <laughs> Fucking shit, cock and cunt and cunt and cunt and cunt and cunt and cunt Just a comic, Stinky Faye is one of the greatest all-time blue impressionists. Woo! That's right, impressionations. <laughs> Stinky, what are we going to get today? FDR or Nixon? I say Nixon. Well, I don't want to do Nixon because everybody thinks, oh, I can do Nixon. Okay, okay, Let okay. me go do a hard one. FDR. FDR, ladies and gentlemen. FDR. You will not believe your eyes. Gang. I'm gonna turn around, and when I come back around, you will see the great Manancipator FDR. <laughs> oh, here we go. Straight camera for this. Don't want to give us this trick. Well, you won't believe it. He turns around. Yes. I'm FDR! Oh my God! Thank you. It's like it's like FDR was in the room. Okay.
Okay, do we have time for Nixon? Do we have time for Nixon? Let's go for it. Here we go, here's Nixon. For me. For I me. gotta dig deep for this one. Just for me. I gotta dig deep for this one. Once again, I'm gonna succumberate myself, and when I turn around, I will be Richard Mills House Nixon. Hit it, boys. All right. This is about the most evil son of a bitch in the world. The name of this song is Bob Barker. Ran into a husky, we used to be tight. We stick our noodles into poodles and look for mastiffs to fight. Back in the day, man, this dog had a bone. He's the dog in the porno with the young Stallone. We threw corgis and orgies until they were nauseous. Parker's crew ripped off his biscuits and sausage. And when this poor fucker sniffed my ass to say hi, he was too ashamed to even look me in my red eye. Bob Parker got a bone to pick on a nigga chew toy out of your dick. His teeth are sharp and the price is right. Gonna do to your ass what not crack a bite. Wow, young and plump, that beagle loved to honk. Ain't a male dog on the block who's ugly, she had bumped. We passed her around, she was a three-dog night cop, and it took her to the vet. Cause game show psycho said, scoop out the insides of your pet. So they fucked up the bitch, they had her spade, now she don't get wet, and we don't get laid! Bob Parker got a bone to pick on a gnaw on your prick like a raw hot stick. These teeth are sharp and the price is right, from nuts to soup with just one Jimmy back, you'll have to sit through my stool. Bob Barker got a bone to pick, gonna make a chew toy out of your dick. He keeps a sharp and the price is right. A new to your ass with one nut nugget. I want all my good friends to come on out right now. We're going to give you an uplifting finale. Where are they? Here. The beautiful Miss Maya Rudolph is here. Is Conan coming? Here's my beloved Conan O'Brien. Here comes the man himself, Mr. Adam Sandler. Here comes 
The man who rocked the house. Give it up, Mr. Half of Tenacious D himself, Jack Black. And how can you describe a better friend than a man who would willingly stick a dildo in his mouth for you? Mr. Horatio Sands. That's right. It wasn't a fictional character. It was Horatio Sands. You can tell your grandchildren Horatio Sands ate a dildo for you. You see, we really can be together and make beautiful music. Miss Maya, are you ready? I'm always ready for you, Triumph. Oh, yes. Hold each other near Together in Ubay And I pledge it true That I will give my food to you Together in Ubay And with love I know That our food At the Super Bowl, every musical for Billy Joel, every male model who shaves his chest, every teenage girl maxims on your ass. Wait, I think that that shitty movie's made from crap TV. What's wrong, Triumph? What's wrong? I just realized something. There's so much in this world to poop on. Grab on it all, I could never. Well, I can heed a friend in need. Let's poop on it all together. You mean it? Put on a pot of coffee, baby. Give me a box of prunes. I'm gonna need some reading material. Jack, here's a vanity fair from last June. The dude who says you're getting a deal. When I paid for it. 